Hi, I'm Jackie and it's my intention for you to feel your best for a long, long time. In this video, we'll stretch around our shoulders, our spine and our hips. So it's really a whole body stretch and the results are you'll feel so calm for hours and hours after and also you're preventing getting stiffer as you get older and you're freeing up your tight muscles. So if you want to feel your best, do this. It feels so good as, as well as make sure you also work on your strength. Don't just go for the easy videos. I've got plenty of strength-based videos, but for some reason, everybody goes for the easy ones. But you shouldn't always go for the easy ones because you need to stay strong and work hard and do things you don't feel like doing as well. But this one is beautiful. So enjoy this one. Thank you. Okay, we're going to oil up around our shoulders, spine and hips before we hold the stretches. So starting, you can stand, you can sit on a chair, you can kneel or sit on your bottom. We're going to oil up or warm up around our shoulder joint first. So big circles one way, lubricating into that joint. As we get older, obviously we know the joints are not getting oilier, they're getting drier. So we have to work harder at stimulating blood flow and also synovial fluid or lubrication. So motion is lotion, the other direction. Movement is medicine. And the older we get, the more we need it. If we want to feel our best and also not let anything stagnate. So staying young, it takes a bit of effort. Okay, and then this one, you can be standing, you can be kneeling, you can sit on a chair, shoulders turning internally rotating, externally rotating like this. Good. Okay, and then all fours, getting into the spine and a bit more on the shoulders, but first the spine, cat cow. Exhale, look at your belly button. Inhale, look at the wall in front of you. Squeeze your belly when you exhale. Lengthen your belly when you inhale. Turn the shoulders in. So internally rotate like that on the exhale and try to turn the shoulders out in the socket or the upper arm bone, Ex inhaling and exhaling. So you're getting a bit more lubrication when you do that and also try to squeeze your belly when you exhale and then also try to pull hands towards the knees on, when you inhale and try to push your hands away when you exhale. But if it's too much information, just inhale, look forward, exhale, look at your belly button. And then this is very, very good for warming up around the shoulders, strengthening and loosening at the same time. Touch the ceiling, inhale, exhale, swap, inhale, reach. So have a look at that one. I'll show you from behind. Inhale, reach. Exhale, swap, inhale, reach. So have a go at that. It's very, very good, as I've already said, at loosening and strengthening your shoulders and your back. It's a really good one. If it's hard for you, all the more reason to keep doing it. That means your back is a bit stiffer and a little bit also. You might have a weak back or a stiff back and this will strengthen and loosen at the same time. Such a good one. Okay, back to the cat cow. Exhale, inhale, and one more. Press pause if anything feels really good and you want to do it for longer. And then one more for warming up before we start holding our stretches. So this is for the hips, and we can also do a bit of shoulders too. So you can do 
show arms stretching across. If you don't know this one, obviously you haven't done that many of my videos. So it's called windscreen wiper. So if you're new to my videos, then have a look first, because sometimes I just go straight into the exercises, because I'm starting to cater for my, my regular, um, I, I usually say students, and um, yeah, my students who are doing all my videos on YouTube, who are starting, starting to become familiar with the exercises. And then try this one, but you have to have a look, beginners, what my arms are doing. So this is a really good one. I'll show you. If you're not, keep doing it. But see, it's like this. So it's internal, external rotation. It's really good for the shoulder sockets. Okay, and then hug your knees in. A few deep breaths. So we're going to come back to sitting. Okay, the first stretch, we're going to do our shoulders and our chest. So you'll need a strap or just grab a tea towel will be fine. And you can stand or sit on a chair or kneel and reach your right arm down like this and your left arm pulling up. So pulling up like that with your left and down with your right and then pulling back a little bit as well like that. Look straight ahead, steady eyes and just holding here. So this is one minute with the straight arms variation. So pulling, we keep reaching the left arm up and the right arm down and pull back. So it's very nice for opening out your posture, preventing going in a rounded direction. Soften your face and if you're looking at the screen, then um, try not to look side on, so look straight ahead. Or once you know what you're doing, don't look at the screen. Close your eyes or look out at the, the garden or the, the sky, a cloud, a plant. Try to breathe in and out through the nose most of the time. Now the next variation is, you can stay like this if you, if you have an elbow injury, otherwise see like that, walking hands along the strap until you reach your edge. And some people actually can just grab fingers, but don't force it. If you've started yoga young, you might be able to do that, but most people definitely cannot do that. Reaching the top elbow, left elbow up, right elbow down, lifting the chest, but mainly just trying to relax and enjoy the stretch. Keep working the smooth inhale into your belly. Nice soft belly when you inhale. And then slow exhale. Last breath. And then coming back to the straight arms if, you, if you've been doing the bent elbow one. Okay, good. And then carefully swap over. So your right arm up now. And then pull. I'm timing this. It's so a yin yoga we hold for longer and the benefits of that, of holding a stretch for a long time, is you do gain more flexibility. You get into the deeper connective tissue, the deeper layers, the fascia that's all through and around the muscles. That's so great for flexibility. It's great for rejuvenating from other hard strengthening exercises like planks and push-ups and weights and swimming or surfing and, and also it's the best for slowing down and lowering stress if you're very busy in your life and you do have stress which we all do. It's 
So reaching up with the top right arm and then either stay here and that's fine. It's much easier for a lot of people. Or you could try this one carefully. Maybe that's enough for you. Some people grab but don't force anything because that will not free you up. You can definitely get an injury from stretching. So people think stretching is gentle but stretching is quite strong in your body. Quite extreme holding a stretch for a long time like this. So don't force because you don't want an injury because that will make you stiffer and hold you back from moving more. If we free up our body, then the body will want to move more freely. It'll want to move more and you'll be healthier. Blood flow to the brain. One more breath in and out here. And then back to the straight arms. And then releasing slowly. So your shoulders should be a bit freer. We'll just put a bit of stability back into the shoulders. So sitting or standing. If you've been kneeling, straighten out your knees. Push the palms, the hands together. So you feel a bit of a contraction in the front of the shoulders and the chest and the arms. Stabilizing just in case you're overstretched. Okay, the next one is for our spine and it's a twist. And if you're more flexible, you can just sit with your right knee on top and turning to the right. And if you're a bit stiffer, I'll show you other options because you don't want to be rounded like that. But if you can do this one, so you can start, you can hold it for a bit longer. I won't start timing yet. So that's that one is an option. Um, another option is sit on a block or a bolster and if you have a tricky, a tricky knee you can just do it like that with your right knee bent looking to the right and there's one other option if you prefer you can bring the right knee across and look to the right so that might be a good option for some of you right knee across to the left and you look to the right I'm starting for a two minute hold so some of you are doing this one if you've started yoga younger and you're more flexible. But a lot of my students, most of my students are stiff. So I think this one might be the better option. But you can choose what's best for your body and your spine. So we're getting into the right hip and we're getting into the spine as well and the shoulders actually. So this is really hips, spine and shoulders all together. Neck, so it's opening up the back of the left shoulder, back of the, um, the left side of the spine, the left side of the neck opening out, the right outer hip. And you just hold and you try to relax. Halfway there, see if your body will go a bit further into the twist, but, but no force. a little bit longer. Hopefully you're feeling your muscles are releasing and also your mind is also starting to slow down from the yin yoga. One more breath, exhale and then centering up, straightening out your legs. Okay so the options are some of you are doing left knee on top, turning to the left if you can keep your back straight. Some of you sitting on a prop, 
Bend the left knee, look to the left. Make sure your spine's lengthened and straight because then you get the maximum benefits. And some of you are doing this, left knee in, left knee to the right, look to the left. So there's those three options there. And I'm starting the two minute timer. And you'll just, all you need to do is hold, enjoy. That's the most important thing. Try to make it feel good and enjoy the yoga. Enjoy connecting into your body and holding a stretch and doing something positive. Relax the face more, always. Jaw, tongue, throat. Feeling the body, no force. Just trying to relax into the stretch you're holding. Working on the left outer hip. And the right side of the spine is releasing. So right shoulder blade and right side of the neck. We're trying to maintain a bit of flexibility for rotations, which we lose as we get older. And we have naturally when we're younger, nice flexible spine for twisting. And we're trying to, yeah, trying to keep that as much as possible because everyday life, just twisting and everything we do involves a bit of rotation actually. Putting on a jacket, walking, Swimming, putting on your seatbelt, turning to look behind you, just everyday life, moving more freely. We're going to do one more deep breath in and out here. Okay, and then releasing back to the center. Straighten out your legs. For the next one, if you're a bit stiffer, then sit on a um, bolster or block or a few pillows with your knees bent and your tea towel or your strap. So it will look like this if you're stiffer. Okay, and if you're more flexible, you can have straight legs, but I don't want you to do this. I want you to get that lift out of the lower spine. If you've got straight legs, make sure you can get that lift out of the lower spine. So try to look in a mirror or have a yoga teacher check. And this is another two minute hold. So use your strap or your tea towel. It's also good to pull the flesh, the buttocks back to anterior tilt your pelvis. Don't overstretch. No force. Make it feel good. That's the most important thing. I'm repeating this. Just make it feel good. Enjoy it. Make it something you look forward to. You want to do more of it. Use your breath. On the inhale, try to get a bit of a lift out of the lower spine. Belly button, chest. On the exhale, try to get a little bit more release into the pose. Obviously it's flexibility in the back of the legs and the lower back, the whole back body. And don't worry, most people are stiff here. So most people should be doing it like this. Most of my yoga students are over 50 and in the class I can really see and tell people which one's the best to do but on YouTube you've got to make the decision and most people should be sitting up with a strap for this one so you're not overstretching in the lower back. 
and also make sure you do plenty of strengthening exercises on which I've got plenty of and then one more breath in and out make sure you grip your core move from the core to lift your body out of a forward stretch because your lower back isn't as strong after you've stretched it which is why we're about to do a quick little stabilisation to the lower back with bridge pose. If you don't know bridge, have a quick look. Just that. And so it's just, it's just contracting into the lower back gently in case you overstretch. This is a good thing to do. Just for a few breaths. We've got two more stretches. So this is one of the best ones called Sphinx Pose. So lie on your belly like this and I'm timing it for two minutes. So you've got to use your arm muscles and you're trying to push your tailbone towards the wall behind you and get your breastbone towards the wall in front of you. And you're trying to relax and not just bend always into the lower back. You're trying to get a more even stretch, a little bit lower back, a little bit middle back. So lift that chest and a little bit neck. Looking forward or slightly up. So your arms, as I've said, are a little bit active. Start pulling hands towards hips. Holding your chest and not shoulders like that. Shoulders down. And this is one of the best for not getting rounded. I reckon if you're only going to do one of them, I would do this one every day. And if you're more flexible, you could. this is called Cobra. It's a bit stronger. And it's just an option if you want to try that, but only if it feels good and it doesn't feel too much pain in the, in the back. But you are bending into your lower back, that's for sure. So 30 more seconds. If you're not used to this, you might just do that much. Some people, too much too soon can aggravate your lower back. It's called spinal extension. So some people need to be careful of it. So... Don't assume it's always good, as I've already said. Everybody, one more breath in this pose in and out. Slowly come down. And as I've already said, don't think that stretching is completely safe. Stretching and overstretching can actually make you, can injure you. So we've got one more. It's a really good one, especially after what we just did. So if you, for most of my students, I think this one's better. It's quite nice at the wall. Look at my right leg, it's on top. You could be in the middle of the room. And that's, that's I think, for most people, the best one for most of our students. But if you want to try another one, if you've got oste osteoarthritis in the knees or a lot of stiffness, definitely do this one. You're trying to stretch your outer right hip. Some of you might do pigeon pose, which is this one. And if your knee doesn't mind bending. Okay, so that's one option. So two minutes. If you're more flexible, you can do that. Otherwise, I'll just demonstrate the one that most of my students will do. A few deep breaths into your belly, into your hips. Connecting into your body because you care and you're putting in a bit of good quality time into your body because you value feeling your best and health and longevity and not getting too stiff, slowing down aging. So when you're clear in 
your values, what, what you really want, then it's more motivating to do more, do more stretching. Because most of us, we're a bit lazy. We can't be bothered, can't be bothered doing yoga. So trying to get clear and I want to feel my best. You know, I want to slow down aging. I don't want to get too stiff. I want to move more freely. And lowering stress is incredibly anti-aging. Too much stress is the worst thing and we know there's too much of that in the world. Okay, we're taking one more nice deep breath in and out here. Now if you're in pigeon pose, you can come back to downward dog if you like, if you know your yoga, or you can do what I'm doing. Squeeze your legs straight, that's like that. If you didn't know what I'm talking about, this is downward dog. So you come from here, like that, that's downward dog. And then swap to the other leg. So most of you are doing this one, because that's better for most of my students, because they're a bit stiff. <laughs> Maybe a bit of osteoarthritis. So hold either that one. But some of you, this is no problem like this. Okay, I'm timing for the two minutes, starting now. So as you hold the stretch, focusing on your body and breath. The other good, if you don't find enough motivation to do more yoga, just think about, um, you know, writing down, putting it in your in your weekly timetable so get me making it a habit so every you know every Sunday afternoon at four o'clock something like that you know you you do a yin yoga stretch or and every Monday morning you go to your yoga class or what you know what Tuesday you go for a walk with your friend you know have a routine and it becomes just what you do and yeah, you've got to develop it. So just part of your routine and that takes a while to you know, develop ha new habits or new routines. It does take a while, a bit of commitment, a bit of discipline and that, that's obviously going to help. So you don't, you don't have to get motivated because it's just what you do. It's just what you do. Nice deep breaths into this stretch. This is natural hip flexibility we're working on that we lose as we get older and we're trying to maintain it. It's also your lower back. And then one more deep breath in and out to finish. And then either sitting or lying on your back with your legs up the wall or lying on your back on the floor or just sitting meditating just for a few minutes, finishing the practice, just focusing on your breath, straight spine. Relaxed belly when you breathe in. Slow exhalations. Maybe it's the morning and you're setting up for a more calm, present, conscious day. Or it's the middle of the day and you're having a little reset from busyness, maybe it's the end of the day and you're setting up for a more restful sleep. So 
smooth inhalation into a soft belly. Just feeling your chest expand gently, slightly deeper and slower breaths. Slightly slower than normal, exhale, mostly out through the nose. Your belly gently contracting when you're breathing more slowly and deeply than you normally do. And right at the end, your pelvic floor muscles. Holding that face soft, even softer. Feeling through your whole body. You did a little bit of release around your shoulders, your spine and your hips. Feeling the effects of that, which should last for hours and hours, up to 24 hours in your body and your, in your mind. Press stop or pause if you'd like to meditate for a bit longer or just focus on self-care, which equals self-care equals health care and I hope you do plenty of health care and I hope you do all my videos and subscribe and think about my online course, which is specifically for preventing cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's, dementia. And I'll link to my online course called Strong Body, Young Brain, and it's actually not actually for flexibility. So if you're just doing mainly yoga, I hope you can purchase it it's very affordable and it's for mainly for strength and fitness cardiovascular fitness and memory exercises all in one it's really good it's progressive have a look at it i'll put a link to it thanks mm -hmm.